Hello everyone and welcome to this demonstration video for Attendance Reader. In this video we will go over how you can use the app from a student perspective in order to track your attendance to your classes. First thing you need to do is download the app from the iOS App Store or the Android Google Play Store. From there you'll arrive at this screen once you've opened it. You'll be noticed there's an institute dropdown and this is for the universities that work with us. In your case you'll most likely be using the public server. You click login with public server and then I'm a student and then you can register an account using Google, Microsoft, Apple or Facebook or you can use just a normal email and password register. For this you need to fill out your name, surname and email address and then you'll receive an email to be able to set up your password and log into your account. In this case we're just gonna log in using the normal email and password login. And once you've logged in, this is the first screen you'll be able to see. You'll be able to see all of the courses that you have been subscribed to. You also have access to a settings screen in which you can change your name and surname. You can change your password and you can delete your account. And you also have a help screen which has a legend that explains all the symbols in the app. You, ac you can access the student manual through here as well that explains the app a bit better. And also you have a feedback button which you can use for support. Now, how can you track attendance using attendance radar? Well, there's two ways of doing this. The first of these is just by using the normal Bluetooth scan. For this, once your teacher has told you to, you need to click on scan and mark my attendance here at the top. Then it will take you five seconds. And after the timer is done, you'll receive a notification that you have been marked present. In this case, because this is a course we have not yet been subscribed to, it will ask us to subscribe to the course first. So I click on mark my attendance and then subscribe. Then I can see that for day one I was marked present because of this green icon on the right. Another way of marking your attendance is by using the manual code. This is mostly used in manuals in online sessions and you just need to input the code that your teacher will give you to mark your attendance. Please note that you will always receive a notification like the one at the top whenever you have been marked as present. And here you can see that I was marked present for day two of biology. You can always check the attendance for any of your courses by just clicking on them. And in this case, you may notice that there are some additional symbols that are not just this green icon. The green icon means that you have been marked present. This white icon in day two means that you have been marked as absent. The red icon means that you have been marked as excused, which means that you gave a legitimate reason why you were absent. And the yellow icon means that you were marked as late. Finally, you can always filter your courses by whether you have sessions in the past, in the pre today, or in the future. And you can also filter within one of your courses for the sessions in the past, today, or in the future. Now we will go over to the web version where I will show you some additional things that you can do from the web. Thank you for listening to the app version of the demo. Hello everyone and welcome to the web version part of the student attendance radar demo. In order to access the web version of the app, you need to go to app.attendanceradar.com and then you'll arrive at this screen. You'll be able to see once again the Institute dropdown, but in your case, you'll most be likely be logging in with a public server. So click on login with public server and then the student. Once you've done that, you'll be able to register an account again, if you wish, with Google, Microsoft, Apple, or Facebook. And you can also log in to your account using any of these. In this case, we're just going to log in using the normal email and password. Once you've logged in, this is the screen that you'll be able to see. You'll be able to see all of the courses you have been subscribed to, including the biology course, which I was subscribed to in the app version part of this demo. You also have the filters once again, where you can filter for the courses that have sessions in the past, today, or in the future. You'll be able to mark your attendance from here using the manual code that your teacher shares. You'll once again have access to a demo, uh, to the user manual and 
one feature that you cannot do from the app but you can do from here is unsubscribe to a course so in this case we're going to unsubscribe to the biology course and this can be done so that you can unsubscribe from your courses that you already finished and in where you don't really uh, care about being able to access the attendance records for them anymore in order to check your attendance for a course you click on the view sessions button and then you'll be able to see the attendance for the course in this case you notice that i was marked as present i was absent uh, present for day one i was absent for day two i had a legitimate absence for day three and i was late to day four and once again you can filter within a course for the sessions in the past today and in the future and that concludes the attendance waiver student demo Thank you very much for listening and I hope everything's clear. If not, you can always reach out to us through the help screen in the app.